kind of walk yeah. me through the day to day, like how you came from a family of four. Uh, how do you serve people at work all day long and then serve at home? Like walk me through that. Sure. Well, and, and, and not to correct you, but I came from a family of five kids. Uh, oh, my little brother came just kind of like yours. Uh, I was seven when he came along. Um, and, uh, you know, that was awesome. And, and, and but yeah, to go, to go and, and take care of six kids, man, they are awesome. I'm not going to lie. It is, uh, I get that question all the time, man, how do you, how do you do it? And I, you know, the answer is sometimes it's minute by minute, <laughs> but you know, we're really fortunate. My kids are healthy. They're intelligent. They're loving. They're kind. Um, they are rambunctious and energetic, which is also very fun. Um, but you know, my early on, you know, Heather and I, my wife, Heather, um, you know, we talked about having four kids. That was our goal. Like, Hey, we're going to have four. It's going to be awesome. Um, you know, had, had our fourth, be a, a fourth C-section and the doctor kind of said, Hey, we're done. And we're like, okay, well, I mean, we hit our goal, right? I mean, here's the goal. We knocked it out of the park. We got four beautiful kids. You know, my oldest is 12. And then I had three little boys and, you know, we really felt like uh, God was laying on, on our hearts that we weren't done yet. And from a physical standpoint, we were scared. Like, how does that work? And, so we went down that path and and we fostered for about a year, year and a half. And then we ended up switching over our home license to adoption. And when that happened, I mean, that's, that's when we jumped pretty quick from four to six. Um, you know, we adopted two little girls from Louisiana uh, in 2020 and then her, we got to adopt her sister in 21. And yeah, I mean, I was never anticipating six children. So, so for us, and for me personally, I mean, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's, uh, I mean, you, you've been around our family. You see it's, it's chaotic and it's fun and it's wild. And, um, but they are, they're, they're, you know, they're kind of that everything that drives. And, uh, as a, as a husband, as a father and as a man, you know, that same principle of I'm here to serve in the workplace, right? I'm, I'm here to serve. Um, that still translates at home, if not more so. And so for me, that's, that's been the calling of our heart and my heart specifically is, you know, I've been entrusted with these beautiful children and their lives and their livelihood up to a certain point. And I hope that they never walk away and say, we're done. But so my ultimate goal and my ultimate um, responsibility is to be there. And, and to love them and take care of them and serve their needs and educate them. Um, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's hard. And um, as they've grown up and, you know, I've got two that are in competitive sports, got a 12 year old girl who's a competitive gymnast and a 10 year old son who's now playing traveling baseball. And it's a whole new world, but it brings out of me the, the things that other people have poured in. And it's given me an opportunity to share with them and maybe continue that legacy. Um, but I mean, my days are, are wild. Uh, get up every morning. I make breakfast for the family, get everybody prepped and ready for school. We homeschool. So my wife is a champion too. While I work full time, she works full time teaching and, uh, you know, we get them up, get them ready. And then when I hit the door here at work, it's, we go hard until we go home. And then it's when I get home in the evenings, that's when we try and have that family time, that, that enjoyable time in between practices or, um, but that's those kids, man, they mean everything. And, and I think Heather would, would say the exact same thing that uh, it's worth the stress and my hair loss um, or weight gain or whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is, there's, there's just nothing like it. I mean, and, and I don't, you know, my kids, they love, they love you and Kendra uh, exponentially and, and you guys have poured and mentored into their lives. Um, and so we appreciate that. I mean, I know that's a little bit of a side comment, but that's something that you guys, when you're around, it's, it's like aunt and uncle show up and it's, it's time to hang out and play and reconnect. And, and that's something I know they always look forward to. So uh, I appreciate you guys for the, for the willingness to come and, and, and for the madness there. <laughs> well, 
So. Well, well, thanks for saying that, Mitch.